Some Nevada Democrats aren't satisfied with having a Democrat governor and large legislative majorities. They also want to ignore the Constitution to make it easier to raise taxes. Hi, I'm Victor Jakes. In the mid-1990s, Nevadans overwhelmingly approved a constitutional amendment mandating that tax increases receive two-thirds approval from each legislative body. That language is all-encompassing and unambiguous, which is a problem for Governor Steve Sisolak. His budget, despite his claims to the contrary, contains a tax increase. The law currently says that the modified business tax rate will decrease in July, but Sisolak wants to maintain the current rate in order to help fund his record-setting spending spree. While Democrats have a supermajority in the Assembly, they are one vote short of two-thirds control in the Senate. That leaves Democrats with two constitutional choices. Either cut a deal with Senate Republicans to get a vote, or increase spending by 10% instead of 11%. Democratic leaders, however, are considering a third option, ignoring the Constitution. Senate Majority Leader Kelvin Atkinson said recently he doesn't believe extending a tax rate requires a two-thirds vote. Sisolak has hinted that he agrees as well. Their argument is that because the rate stays the same, it's not a, quote, new tax, in the words of Atkinson. That sounds logical on the surface, but that line of reasoning falls apart once you look at what the Constitution has to say. To extend a tax rate, the legislature must pass a bill. That bill will increase public revenues, which is exactly why Sisolak wants the tax rate extended. The Constitution requires a bill that, quote, increases any public revenues in any form, end quote, pass with a two-thirds vote in each house, or it could go to voters for approval. This is a no-brainer. Extending a tax requires a two-thirds vote. If Democrats ex insist otherwise, they will invite a lawsuit that could force a special session. And that's the right take.